पेज नंबर सेवेंटी नाइन एक्सरसाइज टू एक्सरसाइज फिफ्थ चैप्टर ओके the strategies intra specific inter specific out crossing in their wife have all their children curly head because both are heterozygous husband is homozygous and wife is heterozygous husband is heterozygous while wife is homozygous both are homozygous if they have half children was treated half children with the curly hair it can be a possibility of heterozygous condition both can be heterozygous one can be heterozygous and here they are giving the clue that all the children are curly hair obviously it can be a homozygous condition homozygous condition okay go to the 26th question 26th question which of the following is true about mendelism but not darwinism darwinism is concerned with the genes he does not know about genes because mendel came after darwin mendel came after so darwin does not know about genes mendel know about genes mendel was the first person to use the mathematical expression in the biology and mendel try to explain related to the concept related to the genes as a main concept so we will try to segregate the options how many are there what are there if one is there what it is okay it is influenced human thought tremendously it was modified immediately it gave well defined principles even in early stages it was based on insufficient data okay darwinism thoughts were influenced but they don't have any theoretical proof or experimental proof so it was not modified uh, the darwinism was something like natural selection when you come to the <clears throat> mendel it is concerned with the purely genetical sciences or the gene based expression but he does not know about dna the uh, it was based on insufficient data both have given their own data according to their thoughts so it is not a insufficient data okay it gave a well defined but mendelian gave a well defined principles related to the genetics or early stages also it can see means based on the some of the characters which are present in your parents that can be transferred to you but that was not explained by 
Darby. So here we can go with the option 3. Next. What will be the first three children if the parents are heterozygous albino? The first three children will be. Okay. So here first three children they are asking about if the parents are heterozygous albino. Just try to uh, check the option with albino condition and go for a albino. Albinism means skin color. Skin color is based on the pleiotropic genes. First thing. Second thing is if all the genes are recessive only, then there is a possibility of recessive only, there is a possibility of the person becoming albino. But here they are saying that albino first three children can be according to the law of genetics or law of dominance. Okay, in the mono hybrid cross related to the skin color. So one will be dominant that is normal skin color. Two will be heterozygous dominant. One will be homozygous recessive. So first three children can be, can be, it is only a possibility or uh, non-albinos or common skin color. But the fourth can, one can be, there is a chance of becoming albino. Okay, so here, <coughs> so here they can be, first, first one can be normal, homozygous, normal, second one and third one can be heterozygous, normal, heterozygous, normal, fourth one can be albino, albino means complete body is white, so they cannot able to see the sunlight because of melanocyte stimulating hormone is going to be affected in them. You can see three persons in Chikodi also, albinos. Next, coming on to the next question, marriages between close relative should be avoided because it induces more. Generally, lethal called as lethal effect so in the lethal effect we can see that because of the a congenitus marriages are closely related marriages there is a chance of lethal genes can be forwarded to the next generations so please remember that generally it should be and recessive alleles can be shown in the respective generations. Next. Coming on to the 29th question. Sexually reproducing organisms contribute in their offsprings. Sexually reproducing organisms contribute in their offsprings. Obviously, the spermatogenesis or oogenesis process says that process says that okay half of the chromosomes that is one set of chromosomes comes from the father one set of the chromosomes comes from the mother okay and in the parent four sperms are produced per one spermatogenic cycle in which 50 percentage of the sperms consist of one type of genes 50% of these sperms contains one type of genes. Okay. And 50% of them is a andro sperms or androgenic sperms. 50% is gynogenic sperms. Based on that, here obviously half of the genes from each parent in the sexually reproducing organisms will be transferred from one generation to the next generation half of the next coming on to the next question a child of o group as b group father 
the genotype of father will be a child of o blood group as a b blood group father so obviously according to the law of dominance or law of multiple allelism multiple allelism because blood group is an example of multiple allelism in that there is a chance of two genes are going to be transferred one from your mother one from your father obviously o blood group means father is might be a heterozygous condition father is heterozygous to that so already one is o and father blood group is b so the father immunoglobulin containing the blood group determining factor can be i o i b or if you can look into the textbook in the multiple parallelism you can clearly segregate here you need to write one important thing that wiener wiener this hypothesis blood group related hypothesis was put forward by wiener w i e w i e e n e r wiener hypothesis wiener hypothesis there six types of phenotypes are possible four types of blood groups are possible please remind that six types of alleles are possible and four types of blood groups are possible next <coughs> question number 35 35 three children in a family have blood types o ab and b what are the genotypes of their parents page number uh, you look into the multiple allelism and try to find out a o a b and b so what can be the possibilities of <coughs> their parents blood group from the given options option okay i a i so one is okay b is the one dominant okay so it can be first option most probably the first option why because here one dominant gene is there in the one parent one more dominant gene is there in the one parent and they are all heterozygous in condition i i indicates they are both heterozygous and they can have the blood groups of ia and ib including the heterozygous condition ia that is the reason you can also see a o blood group o blood group next here a person with blood group a possess already we have discussed in the previous year 18th chapter rh antigen related factor okay a person with blood group a possess okay so here whatever the blood group may be it is okay a antigen is there whatever the antigen is there that is the blood group of a person please remember that if antigen a is there blood group is a if antigen b is there the blood group of the person is b the antigen ab is there antigen is there the person of the blood group is ab and if no antigen is there null is on call as zero or no so no antigens you remember only this term it will be easy for you in identification whatever the antigen is there the person blood group is that blood group and the only in the case of o no antigens no antigens so opposite to that you can write as anti bodies again if i say both you may be confused but remember that 
whatever the antigen is there, that blood group. And in the case of O, no antigens. That's it. Okay. Here, antigen A and antibody B. Antibody B. Next, height is humans is somatogenic variation, discontinuous variation, continuous variation, both two and three. So, somatogenic variation means if anything changes occurs in the different somatic cells or the cells of the body that will be inherited that is called as somatogenetic variation human beings are not somatogenetically variated so first option is 100 percentage not the right answer next discontinuous variation skipping of genes already we have discussed that skipping of genes means uh, from five to six uh, generations we cannot see certain factor that will be inherited so it is not continuous in all the generations but uh, height con contained to the height or confined to the height whenever height is a primary factor we are discussing about if two of your parents are height there is a chance of 99 percentage you people getting the height and if your mother and father are white, there is a chance of you people becoming white is 90 percentage, 75 to 90 percentage. And if a, your parents are having the restriction of height dwarf or heterozygous dwarf, possibly you will be also having the same and coming to the fatness, it is also hereditarily designed. So it is a type of continuous variation. Some are continuous, some are non-continuous, discontinuous. So it is a type of continuous variation only. Generally, whenever most of the cases, most of your parental characters are inherited directly. And there are some things which cannot be inherited that whenever we come, we try to discuss those points. Next. Which blood groups can safely be transferred in emergency when there is no time to analyze the blood group of a recipient? Okay, here coming on to this particular question, already we have discussed, I don't know, but still you just try to remember that if the answer is the O blood group and RH negative antigen. Without hesitation, RH sorry, negative, sorry, 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 RH negative that can be transfused. Why means always you remember one thing Dajan apples, Dajan apples are kept in AC along with the dead body. So why here always donors antigen donors antigen always reacts with always reacts with acceptors antibody if they are say acceptors donors antigen here you need to think that donors antigen and acceptors antibody should not be only same. Donors antigen and acceptors antibody should not be same. Gen means here A, here A. There is a chance of death. Here A antigen, A antibody should not be there. If it is B, no issues. If no antigens, no issues. No antigens also, no issues. No different antibodies also no issues. 
but this this and a antigen and antibody a this should not be equal or uh, b antigen and b antibody should not be there this should be not equal this should not be equal to they should be not equal to means this should not be the same with this so with that okay you can just write that here okay this is ultimate because no negative it is negative and here no antigen antibody so if e is a donor no issues this is ultimate positive also there is a chance of certain reactions so it should not be positive here and it can be o oh, if emergency cases next coming on to the next question a baby of blood group a cannot belongs to the parents of blood group a baby of blood group a cannot belongs to the parents of blood group here husband o wife ab husband a wife b husband b wife o husband ab wife a option okay because mother and parents can be okay. in the case of a blood group person i a i i a i b i so based on this we can go with the option because one of the character that should be dominant obviously either it should be originated from any one of the parents so in the case only possible from the third option other options there is no such possibility next inheritance of blood group is a condition of already you know inheritance of blood group is a condition of co dominance co dominance incomplete dominance not right multiple allelism dominance your options are also not right i think options are also not right because it can be co dominance next multiple allelism also because of dominance also it can be possible but not incomplete dominance so here you try to check this option okay whatever is containing the 3 1 2 uh, sorry 1 3 and 4 please go with that option okay next 42nd question already mostly the same questions are repeating generally human blood grouping is ab instead of abc because o it refers to already you know so they are not having any antigens next 45th question uh, substitution of purine nucleotide already sir has discussed about this i think some way purine metabolism okay in the sixth chapter you will come across or else biomolecules will come across next how many pairs of autosomes are found in humans generally 22 pairs so in order to confuse you okay because of anxiety because of anxiety generally what they try to do is 22 will be given 44 option will be given 46 option will be given and some other option can be also given so because of confusion or because of a books a textbook states that here 22 pairs 22 pairs when pairs are given they will give 22 and 44 and 46 also 
because we are mostly adapted to 44 plus xy or 44 plus xx or 44 or 22 so by, without reading the option we will try to answer them so in this case please uh, be I mean uh, think at you and try to answer here the answer will be only 22 22 autosomes they have mentioned clearly mentioned that autosomes next now coming on to the next question 48 question Chromosomal abrasions occurs due to abrasion means it can be anything like duplication, overriding, crossing over or attachment, replica, anything, whatever it may be, inversion, translocation. Okay. Detection means part of the attachment from one chromosome to the other chromosome. Duplication, okay, 40, 21, triple A, example for that. Inversion, one part, okay, because uh, when you see on the chromosome, when you see on the chromosome, actually this will be the chromosomal size, chromosomal size. So, this part, completely this part will be going and attaching to the some other chromosome. This occurs in the chromosome number 5. One part chromosome, only 1, 2, 3 arms will be present. This will be attached to the some other chromosome. That is called as inversion. Or sometimes, okay, during the binding of process, okay, the chromosome instead of attaching from the middle to the base, it will be reversely attached. During the segregation process or anaphase process, this all occurs mostly in the anaphase or diakinesis. And coming on to the translocation, the genes which are to be located on one of the particular chromosome, it will be going during the homologous pairing up of chromosomes or the chromosomes. The genes will be replaced from one play, one chromosome to the other chromosome because non-homologous sister combination will be taking place. Non-homologous pairing up of chromosomes will be taking place in the. So here, <coughs> yes, okay, detection. Duplication, inversion, and translocation. That all can be a chromosomal changes or chromosomal abnormalities. Next, fertilized egg in human contains obviously any one of the sex determining chromosomes, any one of the sex determining chromosomes or one copy of extra but normally it may consist of andro gap andro fusion or gyno fusion andro fusion means x x sorry gyno fusion this is called as gyno fusion one from the mother one from the father fusion because of which xx chromosome is the possible thing and if it is the andro, please, andro, okay, mother will only produce X chromosome, father can produce two types of chromosomes, in that father will be having the Y chromosome, when they are going to fuse obviously male, male, where X is determined. Okay, so here it can be XX or XY chromosomes. Next, mental age of an mental age of an 